In addition to being able to search for contacts and companies directly in Salesforce, our users now have the ability to run one-time enrichments or set up auto-enrichment for accounts, leads, and contacts with data enrichment. This new functionality is completely customizable for any enrichment you're needing and can be used in multiple ways. For example, you can easily set up auto enrichments such as inbound form fills to get better insight for outreach or customize your message. Fight data decay by keeping your contacts and accounts up to date with the latest information. Enrich and append event leads to get technographic and firmographic information. Auto enrich every lead or contact as it is added to your system by a sales rep and more. This video will explain where to go to set up your manual and auto enrichment jobs, as well as cover a few of the best practices for using this feature. When you first log into your Salesforce org, go to the Sales Intel tab and then go to Settings under your name here. Then go to the Enrichment section. This is where you'll find all the options for setting and running auto enrichment. First, you'll want to set your object permissions. Simply toggle the permission on or off to allow manual and or auto updates. There's really not a right or a wrong way to set this. Just be sure that your heads of marketing, sales, and data management agree on what best fits your strategy and data needs. When you scroll down, you'll see the permission settings for auto updating a record. You can either set it to run when an object is created or set a scheduled time. If you decide to schedule auto updates, then you'll need to set the frequency, time of day, and how to address duplicate records. You can either skip updating duplicate records, always appending the blank fields of a duplicate record, or always update the entire record. Again, the option you choose here will need to best fit your strategy. For example, if your marketing team wants to have shorter inbound forms that only ask for name, title, and email, then you can select always append only. And when Sales Intel runs your auto enrichment, we'll fill in the rest of the gaps that we have for you, such as contacts phone number, LinkedIn profile, company name, and more. When your permissions are set, don't forget to click save in the bottom right corner. To start a manual enrichment job, go to the Sales Intel tab in Salesforce and then select the Enrichment tab here. This is where you'll see a list of jobs that have previously been run. To start a new one, click Start New Job on the right here. Similar to setting your enrichment settings, you can choose which record type you want to update, account, contact, or lead record. Next, you'll want to give this job an easy to remember name. Then set the filter parameters here. For example, let's say you attended an event but we're only given limited information and need more data to better your outreach. You can select the lead record type, then go to filters and set lead source is equal to the event name, and Sales Intel will pull all the information we have for those records. Once the filters are set correctly, click Run Process and Sales Intel will start running a report on all the records that meet your criteria. The amount of time it takes to run your report will be affected by the number of records and fields that were cross-matching. Yet, this whole process shouldn't take more than 15 to 20 minutes. When it's ready, we'll send you a report for your requested update. You can access your report by going back to the Enrichment tab and clicking the job's name here. This report shows the match rate of your CRM data to our 95% accurate human verified data and the amount of data that we can enrich. This report is meant to show you how many records will be affected by this update and which fields will be most impacted. Once you've looked at the report, you can decide if you want to start updating the records by selecting Enrich Database or share this report with others by clicking Download Report. Users will always have control over when they push their manual enrichments live. We've also given users the option to roll back their manual enrichment jobs in the Rollback tab. Simply navigate to the tab and click the job you want to roll back. Should you have any more questions about using data enrichment for Salesforce, please contact us at support at salesintel.io.